Yaho, 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 and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. This is another coronavirus update. It's getting pretty serious where I'm at. It's going to get pretty serious where you're at in the next couple of weeks. We're already seeing panic start to ensue the American population, but a large swath of people in America are still very, very unaware and choosing to think that this is just some flu. Well, let me tell you this, it ain't no flu. Let's get into some of these news articles. And I think something that would be very relevant for you guys, actually, not even to focus on Italy or Spain, Justin Trudeau, wife, coronavirus. Because guess what? We're going to start it off with uh, an article from NPR.org. Ready? So yes, agree and continue. Wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Tr Tr Justin Trudeau tests positive for coronavirus. Sophia Giorgio Trudeau, the wife of Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, has tested positive for the novel coronavirus, becoming the latest in a string of high-profile individuals to become infected with the potentially deadly pathogen. In a statement on Thursday, the office of the Prime Minister said, Georgia Trudeau had begun experimenting, experiencing a low-grade fever and other mi mild flu-like symptoms the previous day and was subsequently tested. The test came back positive, it said. She is feeling well, is taking all the recommended precautions, and her symptoms remain mild, the statement said. Adding the Prime Minister himself is in good health with no symptoms. Georgia Trudeau will self-isolate for 14 days. I don't know if that's long enough along with the Prime Minister and the couple's three children, as a precautionary measure, according to the statement. He said that the isolation would not interfere with the Prime Minister's duties as head of government, and that on the advice of doctors, he will not be tested at the stage since he has no symptoms. In her own statement, I don't know, what, is, is like the test something that hard to do? I don't know. In her own statement, Georgia Trudeau, 44, thanked, thanked well wishes, saying that although she is experiencing uncomfortable symptoms, she would be back on my feet soon. She would be back on my feet soon, yeah. Being in the quarantine at home is nothing compared to other Canadian families who might be going through this and for those facing more serious health concerns, she said. Yeah, so that's, that's happening. Let's just take a look at what we're looking at globally right now. So coronavirus cases globally 145,681, you can expect this number to reach 200,000 somewhere by midweek at the, the rate of progression, especially with what I've heard about in America right now. Experts are estimating that there's somewhere between 50,000 to half a million cases unconfirmed in America right now. So expect the spikes to come because it's gonna be a rough ride. The deaths, is 5,436. The recovered is 72,532. Now, I've always wanted to do this, this number, right? So I just wanna see what's the ratio of recovered to death? Because I think it's a little different, right? I think it's a little different than the other ratios. So five, four, three, six divided by 72532. 72532. So that's around 7%. So the ratio is that 7% of people die. And I think that's a it's a closer margin than anything you're gonna read, the 3.4 or whatever that is, because without this medical support that people get, the death rate would be much, much higher, right? I think that's important to point out. So, what's it called? Confirmed cases, China, and all of a sudden, I'm not feeling the music anymore. China, I don't know what's happening over there. I mean, they've been underreporting for months now. Italy, now 17,000 cases. Iran, almost 12,000 cases. South Korea is doing something really well with mitigating the amount of people that are getting sick in the country. I don't know what it is, but I think it's really cool. Spain, this number was literally at like six o'clock yesterday. It was 4,000. Now it's upward 5,000. We are, we are on track to be the next Wuhan. I'm not even kidding. We are on track to be the next Wuhan. 
Um, Germany, France are slowing down in growth. USA is picking up pace. All these other countries are picking up pace. But they just imposed like total government shutdown. Like not government shutdown, like business shutdown. Like everything is closed right now except everything is closed except like pharmacies and supermarkets right now in the trajectory that Spain is headed because the government had such a poor response to this and the, to this virus we could be the next Wuhan we could literally I could be sitting here waiting for evac at this point I think look at this I didn't even make my bed that's how stressed out I am about this but I don't know I'm gonna stay here I don't have much of a worry I mean it's gonna come wherever we go a lot of people are choosing to leave these countries they're in to go back to their home countries, which I don't understand unless they're living in like the Philippines or Thailand, a country where it's a warm climate. I don't understand why you'd want to go back to your home country. It's going to come there anyway. But yeah, that's what's happening around the world. Things are, I'm in the middle of this and I just want to say still, we, it's time to stay calm. We, um, there's nothing we can really do about the growth of the virus, but there is something we can do about our own mental well-being and our physical well-being. Pre preparation, not just in supplies, but preparation in thinking about how you're going to react to certain circumstances that you don't expect. Like all my friends that are from Japan are leaving now, and that actually hit me hard because I was like, wow, I didn't expect the virus to take away all my friends from Japan. And... I think that it's interesting to note that things are going to speed up a lot, like soon. Things are going to speed up a lot soon. This is a world event. And I was in education, man. I've been a teacher. I was in the situation room when we were talking about this event. It's pretty serious, so please start taking it seriously. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. See you in the next update tomorrow. Bye-bye.